Hi YouTubers and wet shavers everywhere, it's Mark with GeorgeTune.com. I'm back with another video. This time around I'm reviewing this copper shaving bowl. Uh, one of my subscribers, Alex, uh, in watching a previous video on a shaving bowl, recommended I give this one a try. These were sold on eBay. They're out of Turkey, uh, manufactured in Turkey, and they're available for anywhere from $10 to $12. Very reasonably priced and some with free shipping. Uh, the one I have, which I'll link below, was about uh, a little over $10, just under $11, and it came with free shipping, and it shipped in about four days, which was really, really very, very nice. Now, it is very, very attractive. It's copper. It's lightweight. It has this nice decorative handle right here, which is riveted into the side. You can see those two rivets there, and it's also tacked down here on the bottom. Very, very firm and secure, and um, I use it to park my thumb right there like that when I'm holding it to generate a lather or sometimes I just find myself holding it like this without even using the handle to generate a lather. It's not overly large, it's not overly small. It's probably a good size for most people who are looking for a good size shaving bowl. Some of you out there might want something a little smaller. Um, some might want something maybe a little bit larger. It seems to be a very good size and it offers a great deal of utility in generating a lather. It's because it has all these little indentations here right on the inside. And you can even see them as they were pushed through to the outside of the shaving mug. So uh, the copper here is not uh, overly thin, it's not overly thick. It's just enough to where you can see those indentations there. It gives it a nice look. It's supposed to get a nice patina after uh, years of use. And uh, I've had a chance to use it, uh, oh, three, four, five times. It generates a lot of lather. Uh, these indentations, when you place the shaving cream in there, these indentations, and you work up that, work that brush in there like that, it generates a lot of lather. Really surprising. I was very, very impressed by that. There is one, I wouldn't call it a downside, but uh, one thing you have to be aware of. When you are generating a lather, these rivets also tend to hold the lather in place too. So as you're working up that lather, a lot of it will cake on the sides here. So you'll have to do some scraping and dolloping down to the bottom. Harder than that, I mean, that's not a deal breaker at all. I know some shaving mugs that are smooth ceramic will probably allow that, uh, that shaving lather to kind of gather and pool in the bottom. Uh, not so much with this. Yeah, some of it does. A, a good portion of it will, but you'll have a lot more on the sides. And you can always scrape that off and, as I say, dollop it down. But it is really a nice shaving mug for the money, and uh, or shaving bowl, rather, for the money. Um, and I was very, very impressed with it. And again, it's copper. It's not going to shatter. Um, it looks like it will hold up to years and years of use. Um, and they packaged it very well so that uh, it didn't suffer any dents or any other kind of distress when it came through uh, the U.S. Postal Service. So I was very, very impressed with it. It has this nice smooth lip here that's been folded around so there are no sharp edges. And you can see it's just formed very, very well. It's nice and smooth, good size for your hand if you like a shaving bowl this size. And... Um, Really, I think it's one you should check out. I'll have links below. So that's it. Hey, thanks very much for tuning in. Really appreciate it. Comment below. Let me know. Check out my blog, georgetune.com slash blog for my comic strip, George, other cartoons, other videos like this, and I'll see you again real soon.